welcome to Walter's Railroad Corner. Today, I thought I'd cover a little bit about this publication right here. So today's Railroad Corner is in regards to this AAR Field Manual. It's an annual publication which is updated every year. This is a 2009 volume. I include several links in my video description for those viewers who wish to research the AAR in more detail. The Association of American Railroads is a governing body formed in 1934 and covers railroads and railroad related companies in the United States, Canada, and Mexico. I will add links to my video description. Here's a list of the members of the Association of American Railroads. Here also is a link to the association site on publications members can purchase. This particular book cost $138. During my career with Norfolk Southern Railroad I dealt with several publications particularly including the open top loading rules and the field manual of rules which is a guide to which must be followed you want to be a successful railway carman. To finish my video today I will include a quote from this rule book regarding rule one of this publication. Might be a little on the board side but it pretty well covers the meaning of the book. So I thought I'd just read it to you. These rules apply only to subscribers and are formulated in two manuals designated AAR Field Manual and AAR Office Manual as a guide to the fair and proper handling of all materials contained therein for the interchange of freight traffic with the intent of making owners responsible for and therefore chargeable with the repairs to their cars necessary by ordinary wear and tear in fair service safety regulations and by the standards of Association of American Railroads. Placing responsibility in providing a means of settlement for damage to any car occurring through their unfair usage and improper protection by the handling company. When any component is determined to be a handle line or defect card responsibility, the entire component will be billed as handling line and defect card responsible even if the owner's defect is present. Providing an equitable basis for charging such repairs and damages. Basically you're going to charge these companies for what you do to their rail car but you got to follow these rules. Providing for acceptance or rejection for those rules as a whole with no exception to an individual rule or rules being valid, establish that rules contained herein are not intended to cover other independent agreements entered into by subscribers concerned. Nothing in these rules shall interfere with the right of any subscriber to enter a bilateral agreement with any other subscriber or subscribers. Rules and amendments shall not apply retroactively from their effective dates. Section 2. All freight railroads, interchange, freight car owners, and running repair agents must subscribe to the AAR interchange rules. In other words, you got to follow this rule book to repair somebody's car or you're not going to get paid for it. For complete information on the particular subject, it may be necessary to consult both the AAR field manual and the AAR office manual as well as other publications referred to in these rules. Copies of these rules, circular letters and letter ballots and results are available upon application to the Transportation Technology Center at the AAR.com. Matters pertaining to standard procedure for operating and billing maintenance pools and auto truck farm implements, auto and truck frame loading, crossbar interior restraining devices are contained in the office manual appendix B. 
refer to Appendix A for definition terms. Refer to Appendix E, the office manual, for the list of required fees. So if you want to know how much you can get paid for something, you look it up in that book. In my particular job, I never did get involved in the billing part of it. I just made out a form of the repairs that I had completed on a car. For example, if I put brake shoes on a car in accordance to the way you're supposed to do it right here with the right type of brake shoes, all I had to do was submit it to the railroad and they would bill the other railroad for their repairs that I had done. Believe you me, they charged the other railroads far more than they were paying me. I got a nominal amount per hour to repair cars, whereas the fees that they charged included uh, the company truck that I was driving, the equipment that I had to use to make these repairs, which run the bill up quite a bit more. So, for example, if I'm making, if I was making $19 an hour, they were charging these other railroads probably in the rate of $100 an hour for the work that I had done. I always said I'd like to be on piecework with the railroad and get paid by the piece you do it's rather than the, by the hour, but piecework is something they closed out a long time ago. But anyway, I hope my video hadn't been too boring for you. And uh, it's Walter. Sign it out.